Hi everyone, my name is Carter and I'm here to show you uh, a couple of things in this tutorial. This is going to be a three part tutorial. First part is going to be basic UI components, so just so you can get a feeling of uh, Titanium Studio, how to create some buttons, some labels, windows, um, a text field, you know, basic things that an app would have. And then uh, the second part of the tutorial is going to be a little more. Um, advanced, we're going to get into some event listeners, so what's going to happen when you press those buttons, um, as well as some screen navigation. And then the third and last part of the app is if you're already um, well-versed um, kind of user um, developer and you want to use some push notifications in your app. So I'll show, go ahead and show you the steps it takes uh, to you know enable push notifications so that you can use it and start grabbing things from the cloud. Alright, so the first part of the tutorial right now is I'm going to show you how to create an app from scratch and then add some basic comp components to it. So we're in Titanium Studio. We're going to file new Titanium Mobile Project if we're developing for apps. Uh, we're going to name this Push Tutorial. We're going to call it com.accelerator dot push tuck. All right, and right now it's late July uh, 2012, so the current titanium SDK is 2.10 GA, and make sure all these are clicked iPad, iPhone, Android, mobile web, and make sure this is enabled and automatically cloud enable this application. Uh, all right, try to finish, and we're going to go ahead and see. A brand new template pop up here. Right now, you know what? Let's get this. Let's get right into the coding. All right. So, uh, first thing you want to do is create a window. Now, this is like the background to your app, and you're gonna go ahead and create it like so. Bar win one equals titanium UI dot create window. So this call right here, Titanium will automatically create a window for you and all you have to do is give it properties. And in this example, we are going to let me show you how you can add color to your windows. Let's give it um, a white background. Alright, and uh, let me go ahead and leave that be. So with every window that you make, you need to also open the window if you want to see it on your app. So that's what this call will do, window.open. Let's add a couple things to the window before we go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and put a title label to the app. What a label is, is kind of like a text area, uh, just where you can enter, enter some text and have it show up on the screen and you can pick the color of the text, the font, the font size, etc. So let me show you how to go ahead and do that. So instead of typing out titanium every time, there's a nice little shortcut where you can just do ti.ui. It doesn't matter, titanium, like I did in the create window, will be the same as ti. So I did it in this label. I'm going to do it right here. Create label. And in this label, we're going to do some interesting things. Let's designate a color for it. So you can do any hex or uh, HTML colors. So we're going to make this a nice silvery, silvery blue color that I like. That's C8, C8, C8. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a font of a font size. And you can do that like half. So we're going to make it, eh, let's make it 35. So it's a font size of 35, and what text do we want to show? Put in print and uh, quotes. So let's do push tut app. So this obviously will create text that says push tut app. It'll be font size 35 and color of C8, C8, C8. Uh, along with this, let's give it some layout properties. So let's do a Text align. 
dot UI dot text alignment center. So let's make sure it centers the label. And let's give it some layout properties of uh, top. So that means it'll be 10 dp from the top. And we'll give it a height of auto. Because we don't know what the exact height it's going to be with this font size. And we'll also give it a width of auto. So notice that every property of an object, so this label object, is separated by a comma. So you're going to give it its color property, font, its text, text align, top, width, etc. So along with top, there's also a left property, a right property, a bottom property, but you don't have to specify every single one. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So here we have our label and we have a window that we've made so far. So let's so you're probably wondering how do we get this label on the window? Well it's pretty easy. Let's do win dot add method and we're gonna add title to it. So there we go. So now right right now we've just made a window, a label, and we've added that label to the window and we've opened the window. So let's go ahead and see what this is gonna look like in iPhone simulator. Uh-oh, that's because we named it Win1. So that was just a small error screen you'll get if uh, Titanium doesn't recognize what you're trying to do. But here we go. So we've created our app, push tutorial app is the label we got there. And now let's add some more components. Actually, I'm not sure I like that black color. So let's, instead of a color, why don't we make it a background image? And I grabbed this image from the internet. I messed around with it. Where is it? Right here, push example BG. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. Put it right into our push tutorial. Paste. So our background image now, we're just going to do push example bg.png. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I've now changed my background color into a background image. So here's the image. So let's see what it's going to look like on the app. Perfect. So if you know how to design anything in Photoshop, or even if you just want to take a nice image off the uh, internet. You can go ahead and use that as a background image for your app and make it look all pretty. Now, for the rest of the part one tutorial, please check out the next video. Uh, well, I'll be adding in buttons, text fields, and um, along with the scroll view to keep everything on the same page. And yeah, stay tuned.